Om Shanti, a greeting of peace to my sisters and brothers in South Africa. In fact, I would like to invite you to join us for programs that will be taking place in South Africa between the 19th of June and the 25th of June. And the theme of these is going to be spirituality in a fragmenting world. I'm sure you'll agree with this statement that it seems as if the world is falling apart and there's a sense of helplessness. What can I do to make things better? And in fact, I believe that the power of the individual is paramount. As the individual changes and we start making a positive contribution to the world around us, this has a ripple effect and it reaches out to the whole world and brings about a transformation in the whole world. I deeply believe that this is possible. And so we'll be talking about how the power of faith can help in this transition towards a better world. Faith comes not just from blind belief, nor does it come just from studying scriptures or texts, but it comes from a deep inner understanding of what is truth but more than that, a practical experience through my own faith in my, in my life, I'll be able to see how faith is able to help support me. Faith in the divine, faith in destiny, faith in the self, and most of all, faith in each other, brothers and sisters. And so we'll be looking at the subject of faith. Another aspect that we'll be looking at is a subject of resilience. You must have noticed that climate seems to be changing. The environment seems to be also going through fragmentation in which we are using all the resources that the world has and we are not doing anything to be able to replace them. How can we? Where do we find new resources? There isn't a planet B that we can hop off to and bring back stuff to our planet A. So what is it that we can do? Yes, we see everything falling apart. And the first step is maybe the capacity to develop our own resilience so that when we do face drastic events of nature, we are able to spring back again with our love, our faith, our enthusiasm, so that we are able then to be a pillar for our society and support those around us. So where do I get resilience from? How am I able to find it? Meditation is the way, spirituality is the way, and we're able to do this through a deep understanding. We also need a lot of courage to face all the things that are going on. When I start looking at things from a positive perspective, ensuring that whatever thoughts that come to my mind are not negative, but are positive, then changing little things at a time in terms of my own perspective and creating a positive vision for the future, I have the courage to be actually able to make the pure, better world a reality. It can happen and it will happen, but yes, we need to have courage and we need to be able to cooperate together. So I'd like to offer a vision of hope for the future. So often we feel not just helpless, but also hopeless. And so faith, love for the divine, and a positive vision of the future can inspire me and can give me courage to deal with all the little ups and downs that life may bring. But I know that as I continue to move forward, I know that with the help of the divine and my own positive vision, yes, a better world can become a reality. So please join me in South Africa in June. Thank you.